vacío de tu Saved by the truth of Jesus Christ. That's an awesome, awesome line right there. I just love that. Saved by the truth of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for joining in. Uh, we got another great teaching for us today. Uh, you know, just God just continuing to reveal His, you know, His wisdom, His knowledge, His love, His truth. The uh, last video we did was an awesome video, just uh, understanding the power of Jesus, you know, understanding the power of love, understanding this power that God has given us and not being ashamed of it. Uh, so definitely encourage you to catch that video, uh, yesterday's video. You know, it was just such a great, a lot of wisdom, you know, a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge and understanding. You know, I just keep on thinking about that, you know, and walking that path that we, you know, talked about yesterday. Uh, about the power of love and the power that God has given us. So, amen. So today we're kind of continuing that path, uh, discovering more about love. In this reference, charity, uh, looking at the love. Uh, so charity, essentially, uh, kindness and tolerance of judging others, you know, love of human, humankind, you know, loving others, you know, carrying on this love, um, you know, continuing to look at that and, you know, just see where God takes us. So we're going to jump into 1 Corinthians verse 13. Uh, let's just read this verse and then we'll read the chapter and see where we go from there. So amen. It's awesome. Again, thank you guys for joining us. Lord, just guide us, bless us, give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lord Jesus, continue to spread your truth and share your truth with us. Father God, and just I'm excited for, you know, the path that God has been taking us on. And, you know, just it's really exciting to discover more of his truth. So amen. Awesome, awesome. So here we go. Verse 13. And now abideth faith. Now abideth faith. Hope, charity. These three, but greatest of these is charity. Amen. Awesome. So let's check. We're going to start with verse 1 and just uh, read, read them. Though I speak with tongues of men of, in, of angels and have not charity, I am become sounding brass or a tinging cymbal. So I know we don't really use a different translation here. I think I wanted to look real quick. Let's just try this one, the Geneva Bible. So I'm just these see what I have not Louvre. See, so these these start to use. Uh, let's not use that one. But don't love. See, so some so translations. You know, uh, I wanted to look at these translations because I, you know, the First Corinthians one. You know, that first verse I read, I re we just read it, and I was like, oh, that sounds familiar, but that sounds like I've heard it in different translations. So, so there we have it. All right. So you see the correlation of, uh, what's a good, another good? But do not love. Uh, NIV we don't really use. We've talked about that before. Uh, that we've noticed that the NIV has taken out, you know, verses and stuff. Um, but you see the translation there, you know, has love. And now I have charity slash love. I become like a sounding brass or tinking symbol. 
you know, it's kind of interesting to think of, like, you know, imagine that's what's coming out of your voice, uh, you know, a tinking cymbal and sound of brass. You know, just kind of funny. It's, it feels to me like they've came out with a commercial that, you know, has s someone that talks like that. It's kind of, all right. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could move mountains and not charity, I am nothing. That's a pretty interesting verse right there. You know, because knowledge, faith, you know, move mountains, you would, you would understand that that would come from the Lord. You know, but if you don't have love, you have nothing. Uh, so definitely a kind of a swift, like a slap to the face, I guess, is the analogy I was like, looking for. You're like, oh man, if I don't have love, I don't have nothing. Um, you know, and so to me, it's funny that God's put this on my heart, you know, the, the love of how people treat you. You know, so we have these leaders, you know, that we, we look at or uh, not necessarily look up to, but we look to, we follow, who, who, whatever. I always look at, you know, how do they treat people? How do they love people? You know, do they show this love? Do they show this love? Or are they just all, you know, about themselves, wanting to make them sound good, you know, get followers, you know, but do they truly love the these people that they, you know, per se, um, um, you know, f that follow them or that they lead and stuff like that. You know, so that's a big thing that, you know, it's funny that these verses are popping up now. You know, look at this. You know, I have the gift of prophecy and understanding all mysteries and all knowledge. And I have all faith so that I can move mountains and have not charity. I am nothing. You know, so that's a v very value, valuable thing to look at. You know, understanding the charity, you know, God's power, his love. You know, calls that love is the greatest thing. We must love ourselves so we can love others. You know, looking at that and understanding and not be ashamed and, um, you know, stand strong in that confidence of that. And, you know, we see this correlation here. So I'm very excited about this. You know, First Corinthians verse 2, you know, that just confirms the sense I've been having. Not essentially to judge people by, you know, if they love or not, but just to understand, you know, is this person, you know, is this a good person to follow or listen to or, you know, uh, choose for this particular place? You know, do, do, does this person show love? Um, you know, that's a good question to ask. And because well, as we see here, if they have, if they do not have charity, if they do not have love, they have nothing. Um, you know, I am nothing. It sounds like a sounding brass and ticking symbols. Uh, so that's a very important thing. So it shows us on the other hand, though, you know, how do we express? We need to express our love. We need to show the love you know we need to spread the love we need to show people you know this true love of, of, of God so amen you know so God's shown us something here in these with uh, you know these last few days he's shown us this power of love that we carry and we need to just let it you know be released and uh, you know it's kind of cool to think of like you watch like these shows and they show the you know a sense of what power is you know so to some people you know to have powers have all the money um you know especially in america you know to be successful is to have power you know you know have a big army um uh, of finances or of people of businesses corporations you know that's what shows power uh you would you would not look at the world right now and say oh man that person loves he has charity you know, and you would not get the sense that that person has power. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, I would imagine the person that has ch the greatest charity and the greatest love, you know, isn't going to be in the media, isn't going to be in the news. Um, so maybe that's why we can't think of that, you know, person. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a figure of someone that's in the media or news. It could be someone close to you or, or something. It could be yourself, you know, who, who knows. Uh, but it's interesting to think of, like, that's where that power comes from. You know, the world wants to be known for its successes, its money, you know, the big corporations, all the stuff that the power that has over people. Ooh, that's, it. that's powerful right there. The world's power is the power it has over people. God's power is the power it has for people, the love, the charity. Um, so you see that huge difference right there. So that's pretty cool to look at. So amen. You know, understanding this charity, understanding this power, you know, that God has called us, called in us, called for us. You know, there's something there, you know, and we'll just pray that God continues to reveal his truth, knowledge, and understanding about this, this power that God has, 
you know, I just love saying that word, you know, God's power, his love, the power of love, um, you know, understanding that that's what needs to be imparted in our, you know, da daily community, our daily earth, you know, our, our nations, uh, is the power of love, you know, it's revival of his love. Uh, so, amen. so we're going to continue in verse 3. Although I am bestow of all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, I profit me nothing. Charity suffereth long and kind. Charity event, an event not. Charity volunteer not itself. It is not puffed up. You know, just as we talked about, you know, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. You know, just change the word. Love suffers not. Love is kind. Love is not evident. Uh, love valid, not itself. Love is not puffed up. <coughs> Excuse me. Doth not believe. It's unesteemed. Seeking not, not her own. And not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoice not in quantity, but rejoice in truth. Rejoicing in this truth. Amen. Beareth all things. Believing all things. Hoping all things. Endureth all things. You know, understanding these are attributes of the Lord, of Jesus Christ. You know, these are attributes that he carries and he gives us and imparts in us when we accept his truth. You know, his His love, we, when we accept his heart. Um, Charity never faileth, but whenever there be prophecies, they shall fail. Where Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, they shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we with prophecy in part, but when... <clears throat> Man, my throat is really dry today. I mean, sorry about my clearing my throat and coughing so much. Uh, but when that which is perfect, but when that which is perfect is come, that which is in part shall be done away. You know, God's plan, God's part, you know, shall be done. Uh, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understand as a child. I thought as a child. But when I become a man, I put away childish things. Ooh, that's a kind of a powerful verse. You know, when you become a, you know, when you, you accept Christ, you become this child, you know, in the reference of being born again and, you know, being having a new life with Christ. You know, God calls us to move forward. He doesn't want us <clears throat> to get comfortable in the same, the same spot. Sometimes we just like to stay in the same spot and not move forward with God. We're just like, oh, Lord, I'm just comfortable here. I don't want to. I don't want to change or surrender that position of my life, Lord Jesus. Well, here you go. Put away your childish things. Move forward. Move with God. Move in this power of love, you know, and continue to walk down his path. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face now I know in part. But then shall I know even as I also I am now. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face now I know in part. But then shall I know even as also I am now. Amen. And now abide in faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Amen. Greatest is love, charity. You know, charity, it's interesting that they use in the King James Version, you know, that version of charity. Because charity gives you uh, understanding of how that is towards people. You know, love, you think, when you think of love, you think of, you know, the close, you know, people around you, you know, people that you know, your friends, your family, you know, but when you think of charity, that kind of broadens, for me at least, my horizon, like, it's every single person on this planet, every person, you know, show charity, love to humankind, um, you know, humans, and, and I think that's cool to look at. We don't have to love their ways. You know, God calls us not to fall into the, the patterns and the wickednesses of the world. Don't accept their ways. Don't accept their actions. There's a huge difference there, you know, but love them for who they are. They're, the, you know, their their flesh and their bones, you know, and their heart and their soul and their spirit, you know, that's what we're talking about. Their actions, you know, essentially what their flesh is calling them to do. You know, we don't accept that. We don't love that. You know, there's, so there's that difference there, you know, and that's what we're here to understand is that power that God has given us to love these people that, you know, may have done wrong or, you know, are, are doing wrong or whatever culture they're a part of, you know, understanding that we can love them. And it's a choice like God's gives us this choice to love. He's not, 
it's not like we're, you can't look at it as like, oh, I must love, so I got to love you. Oh, I got to love you. I got to love you. No, it's a choice. Yes, I love you. I love you because Christ has infiltrated my heart and filled me with so much joy, happiness, grace, mercy, hope, faith, you know, all these attributes of Christ, the fruits of the Spirit, you know, and I choose to love you because God loves me so much and I love that in me and I love myself that I want to express this love, you know, and I love you and I have charity for you and I, you know, just want to express that. It's a choice, a choice to love others. And don't think that, you know, you know, it makes me sound like a sounding brass and a thinking symbol. Oh, I must choose love. I have to love because that's what the Bible says. I have to love people. You know, that looks like this. I've given this prophecy all understanding mysteries and knowledge. You know, the knowledge is understanding that, you know, you love people. You know, reading these verses, oh, I have to love people. Okay, so there's that knowledge, right? And all faith, you know, have them faith and that you can move mountains. But charity, charity is a choice and I am nothing. You know, so understanding that char charity, you need to have that charity and that, that choice to, to love others. So, amen. So, this is great stuff. You know, it's funny that. You know, we're looking at this stuff and look at our, you know, the world and how the world is the exact opposite of this. There's so much hate and anger and, you know, fear controlling this this uh, this world, and you know, provoketh no evil. You know, evil's trying to go against what God's all about. Um, you know, so we definitely understand and know that. Uh, so it's definitely some great understanding, some great things to move with, uh, and take grasps of and move forward. And just, all right, Lord Jesus, I'm done being a child, Father God. I want to be moved forward. I want to become this man or this woman that you have for me, Father God. I want to walk further down the straight and narrow path that you have for me, Father God. You know, show me what true charity is. Just because it's a choice doesn't mean that God can't show us what charity is, you know, and reveal to us, hey, how does this charity, how does this love look like? You know, just because it's a choice that we have to you know, you might think you have to choose doesn't mean that God can't reveal to you what it is and what it's all about. You know, obviously, if he says right here, uh, but the greatest of these is charity. God obviously has a lot of this to show. You know, he has a lot of power of the love to, to show us. And, you know, that agape love uh, that the, the father has. Uh, so, you know, I just wanted to read this last verse real quick. Uh, so first peter 4 and above all things have a fervent charity among yourselves for charity shall cover the multitude of sins you know seeing that this love will bring us this is what god is so we ask all right jesus fill us and infiltrate us with this charity this love that you have for us father god you know start to change us so overcome all these sins and the multitude of sins you know it's a change it's a choice you have to choose to accept the lord accept the gift that he has for us and he will come into us and change in that sin you know is is overcome so we see that and it's you know a great thing to understand and look at and just be thankful for and we just thank you jesus for this love and this power uh, that you have filled us with so amen you know that's great great stuff uh, just looking and being thankful for what the lord has given us and what he has for us and you know just keep on thinking about the power of love this power of charity that that god offers and you know the places that it will bring us and it will bring us out of these places of you know evil darkness you know just calling upon that and you know if we have we would carry this love just expressing that with others and showing the you know that truth with others you know it's a time and age where you know there's a lot of angriness a lot of hatred around and you know and it's hard to show love for others it's hard to you know have charity you know and maybe it's not maybe it's so simple for for you but i know some people it's just hard for her. and you know that's just where we're asking the lord just to open up our hearts father so just to carry this power of love and just be strength uh understand that strength is love it's not and power is love it's it's not the perspectives of of other things so same and so thank you jesus we love you father god we just worship you lord we give you thanks and honor and glory lord jesus continue to fill us with the fruits of the spirit the attributes of christ father god the teachings of christ lord jesus we just understand and feel you father god in this place and understand that you are truth and you are real lord and we just thank you father amen you guys have a wonderful wonderful day 
be blessed and glorified in the Father, and may He you just have a wonderful, joyful, joy, 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 joyful time. Uh, amen. All right. Bye bye. I've been saying by the truth, the truth.